The USDA's first estimates for 2012 are out, and here to break down those numbers is Kim Anderson. Kim, talk about the report we got this week. What, what's the overall in this report? Well, the overall, there's good news and bad news, and sometimes the bad news is good news, and sometimes the good news is bad news. Oklahoma wheat production was slightly less than expected. Uh, the U.S. wheat production was higher than expected, and world wheat production was lower than expected. So you, you've got price impacts coming in there that are both negative and positive, and it's going to take a little while to, to figure out what's going to happen in this market. All right, of course, the big numbers we were concerned about here are wheat and corn. Kind of break those down for us. Well, if you look at, uh, at wheat production, like I said, Oklahoma production was less than expected. If you're looking at the U.S. production, it came in at 2,245,000,000 bushels. The trade was expected at slightly less than 2.2 billion. If you look at uh, world wheat production, it came in at 24.9 uh, billion bushels. Last year was 25.5. Both of those, uh, you look at the 24.9, that was significantly less than we expected on production for the wheat. All right, now what about the ending stocks? Where are they sitting? Well, if you look at the uh, wheat ending stocks, I think U.S. wheat ending stocks are, are lower than expected. They're actually, the USDA is actually projecting the uh, U.S. wheat ending stocks to be less than this year's ending stocks. Remember, we've been talking about them being higher, and world ending stocks being slightly lower. So that is positive uh, price-wise uh, for the wheat ending stocks. Very good. Now, as far as price, and that's a lot of different information, a lot of things going different ways. How's that going to affect price? I think it's going to have a neutral impact on price for the near term, depending on how our harvest comes in. Uh, prices may fall as we get into harvest. And, and uh, with the, the foreign wheat crop expect, you know, right now projected to be less than expected, if that comes in as expected, then I think we can see a rise in the prices as we get, get out into the November, December time period. Okay, so then in terms of a, buy, of a strategy for producers? Well, I think it leaves them in a strategy where you don't really know where prices are going. Price is kind of in a neutral position right now. Uh, if you go back to last year, price is $8.50 at harvest. We were saying, you know, sell 50 to 60% of it, store a little bit into the fall. The year before we had $4 prices, we said this is a good year to store and sell 20% stored into the fall. This year, it's just up in the air. We don't know what's going to happen with that foreign production. So I think this is a good year to sell a third at harvest, a third September, October time period, and that final third in December. All right, so that famous third and third and a third. Uh, this is the year for it. All right, Kim Anderson, thank you for joining us. Kim Anderson, Grain Marketing Specialist.